Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi and this is the 20, the day number 20 of the 20 days yoga journey. Well done. How you feel? Now you feel like you have to keep going every day doing something for your body and it's not too difficult and as you can always repeat the exercises you feel more comfortable. So let's start. Ready? So we're going to start. You can do it up front of the mat, just I'm going to do it this way, just so we can be facing forward. So we keep the same with hips and feet, balance our weight between right and left side, engage our tummy, that sensation to pull the pubic bone towards your belly button. We're going to inhale, we squat, we've been doing this, and exhale forward bend, keeping the tummy close to the thigh, so if we need to bend the knees, inhale, and exhale, roll up the spine, pressing your feet, and be aware that you have the same balance between right and left side. Come up and roll the shoulders backwards. And again, inhale, squat as far as you can go. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, and exhale, roll up the spine, and roll your shoulders backwards. Again, inhale, squat, exhale, forward bend, inhale, and exhale, roll up, and roll your shoulders backwards, last one, inhale, squat, exhale, forward bend, inhale to prepare, exhale, roll up. And roll your shoulders backwards, hands on your hips, and we're just gonna lift the right heel, articulate your toes, and heel down, and then the other one. So you really stretch your toes down, and we go four, and the other one, three, good. Keep your tummy in, two, relax your shoulders. And just one more. Good. Now we keep our left foot. Bring the right foot just beside your calf muscle. If you're not repose, you can bring it higher beside your thigh, but never beside your knee or below your knee or above your knee. Keep your two hip bones facing forward. Don't worry, the knee don't go sideways. Make sure that your hip is facing forward. Here we try to find balance, hand spray position. Pull your pubic bone, push your foot strong onto the ground. Only you feel comfortable, you can extend your arms up. If not, we keep them just in front of our chest. We hold for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for a three. Don't worry, you are kind of wobbling. It's the way we find our equilibrium. Open your chest. Take one more deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Release your foot. Let's go other side. Again, or below your knee or above your knee, but never pressing against the knee. Hips facing forward. Open your chest. You can keep your palms in the middle of the chest, or you can bring them up. Pull the pubic bone towards your belly button. We hold for four breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Keep your big toe on the ground, which is your main equilibrium point. Let's go for three. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for two. And just one more. Bring your knee to the front. Release. We're going to go here as well at the front of your mat. This time I'm going to come. Hands go behind. Open your chest. Lift your tummy as far as you feel comfy. And we hold here for four. Open your chest. No forcing your lower back. Let's go for three, two, and just one more. We release, we go forward, bend, release your hands all the way down, curving your spine. Bend the knees to allow the tummy come close to your thighs. Catch your ankle, wrap the calf muscles, press your feet against the ground. We hold for four breaths. Inhale. Exhale. 
Let's go for the three. Two. No pain at the back of your knees. And just one more. Inhale, straight your back, hands on your ankles. We're gonna step back with our right foot. Bring the right knee on the ground and slide the right knee as much as you can. Maintain the left knee above your ankle. You can keep your fist on the ground or your palms on the floor. And we're just gonna lift the back knee, stretch our back. We hold for a four. Inhale. And Let's go for the three. Two. Just one more. Knee onto the ground. Release the left foot backwards. Come on to the kneeling position. You can keep your toes curled under or your toes pointing away. Back again to, to camel, but this time in camel, we're gonna keep our hands onto prey position. If it's not possible to keep it in prey position, we're just gonna hold our elbows. And from here, we're gonna inhale and exhale, stretch your tummy, arching your back, and open your chest. We hold it here for four, three, can look to the front or look towards the ceiling. Two. And just one more. Back to center. We release our hands onto the ground. We come onto downward dog. Extending our back. Make sure that your back extend. You can keep your legs slightly bent. We can go inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. Let's go for three. Down. Two. Down. One more. And down. Bring your knees onto the ground. Step forward, left foot. Slide the right knee. Again, palms or fists on the ground. Lift the back knee. Stretch your back. We hold for four. Inhale. And exhale. You can bend the back knee if you feel more comfortable. Remember, never pain. Let's go for two. Inhale. And exhale. And just one more. And exhale. You back again onto the floor. Step our right foot. Raise your torso. We go to camel. And remember, because we don't have like a long, long, long warm up, your body might not be too warm at the beginning. So we just go, as soon as you start to feel pain in your stretches, don't go that far. Okay? So hands are pray position or hands holding your elbows, whatever of the two. Okay? And we just go. inhale and exhale, arching our back. How far? As far as it feels good. And we hold for four, push gently your hips forward. We hold for three, two, and just one more. We release. This time we're gonna go all the way, child pose, bring your legs together if you feel more comfortable. This time palms together, bend your elbows, and your hands go behind your head. We hold here for four. Inhale. Let's go for three. Two. One. We release, come on to all fours. We're gonna shoulders move forward, elbows bend, chest go down, slide the knees backwards, lie down on your tummy. Come on to this position, the swim pose, to help us to arch our back. From here, what we are gonna do, we're gonna bend the right leg. We're gonna catch your right foot with your right hand or your ankles. If you cannot reach your foot, use a belt 
or if it's not possible, just keep your leg like this, with your foot flex, okay? You don't need to hold it. So here we're just gonna press our thighs down onto the ground to pull the leg closer. We hold here for four breaths. Inhale, without forcing. Exhale, be aware that you don't overuse your show your upper back. Let's go for three. You can also hold it in this way, like a tunnel wrapping, and press it down. Let's go two breath. And just one more. Good. Then we release our foot. We swap other one so you can catch your ankle or you can kind of bring your arm inside and kind of wrap it with the elbow and pull it close. And we just hold here. For four, inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three. Pressing gently your hips on the ground. Two, just feel the stretch in your thigh. And just one more. And we release, well done. Bring your hands, chest go down, hands beside your chest, push your body up, and we go all the way, all fours, and downward dog. We inhale, heels up, exhale, heels down. Let's go for three, and let's go two, down, and just one more, and bring your knees onto the ground. We can cross our ankles, help us with the hands to lift the knees and sit in back. If now we can swing the legs to the front. Bring your legs to the front, arms come up, straight your back. You can bend the knees if you need it to straight fully your back. Use your hands at the back, fingers pointing to open more our chest. You can extend the legs if you can without curving your spine. We hold for two breaths. Inhale and exhale. And just one more. Now we release the hands, we lean forward. Again, if we are too far from the thighs, we're just going to bend our legs to allow us to the tummy go down and feel more deep the stretch in our glutes, our lower back. Here we're going to hold the ankles and we're going to flex the feet and we're going to point them away. And we just go for five and extend. As far as you can go. Four. And extend. Three. Without forcing, you cannot extend fully. You just keep it slightly bent. And just as you, know, so you are here and you're just here, it's enough. Okay, remember that everybody's feeling completely different. You know, we have always different flexibility. So it depends how you feel. Good, everybody. Let's go one more deep breath. And release. That movement of the feet flexing and pointing, doesn't matter if our legs are bent, will help us a lot. Good. Hands again at the back. Lift your tummy. You, you feel that your lower back is curving and you can extend the back. Bend your knees to allow you to come up. And we hold here for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. You can extend fully the legs if you can. Let's go to and just one more. Now we lean forward, we bend the knees if we cannot go too low. Catch your feet, let the chest go down. We can repeat again these feet paddling. You can do one at a time or you can just keep them steady. We hold here for four breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Inhale two. And exhale. And just one. And exhale, straight your back, 
And remember, as far as you feel, really good. Well done, everybody. Let's do it against the wall for halasana and shoulder stand, which is great for our spine and our back. So move our mat close to the wall. Ready? Let's go. So remember to go down onto the mat. We use the corner of the mat and the wall. And in there, we're going to put our um, bump. And we're going to lie down parallel to the mat, but outside the mat. And then you just bring your bump closer. And we're just going to roll here. So then we will set here. Take off anything in your head that might to disturb your neck and your head position. And we bend the legs, arms beside your body. Inhale and exhale. We come up, lift the hips, keep your feet against the wall. When the hips come in higher, you might to move more your feet a little bit higher. And just help us here. Keep your hands at the back. And we just hold here for four. Stretching your thighs three, two, and just one more. Hands onto the ground and slowly release the spine down. When the hips reach the ground, flex your feet, keep your legs straight. Bring your arms backwards, and we're just going to hold here for four breaths. Inhale deep. One, Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. Now drop your arms beside you, bend your legs, push your feet flat against the wall, lift your hips, catch your hips from behind, move your feet a little bit higher. This time we release the right foot off the floor, off the wall, sorry. And if you feel comfy, your hands are holding your hips from behind. Push your hips towards to you to release the other leg. And maybe bring the two legs just above your head. Maybe the feet will reach the ground. Maybe not. We don't force. If the feet don't reach the ground, keep your legs bent. And we just concentrate in the spine stretch. And we hold here. For four. Three. Great to stimulate your organs. Two, and just one more. Now catch your hips again. Hold your hips with your hands. At the same time, you bring the right foot onto the wall. You push the hips towards to you. So your body resist. Good. Bring the other leg. Take a one stretch, fully stretch here by pushing your hips towards to you and your feet against the wall. And slowly we release down. As great this time when the hips reach the ground, bend your legs and squeeze the knees towards to your tummy. And we just hold here. Keep your hands just resting on your legs and we just hold here. Be aware of your spine. Feel your spine from the tailbone all the way to the neck. Feel how the back muscles and the neck muscles relax and release. You feel change of temperature in some areas in your back. This is the blood circulation. Squeeze the inner thigh. We hold here for three more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for two. Just one more. 
Great, everybody. Release your arms beside your body, palms facing down. Straight the arms beside your body. Remember the twist, so we're just going to stay here. Be aware that your two shoulder blades are on the ground. Walk with your feet, toes to the right side. Mm -hmm. And then let the right leg completely rest onto the wall, onto the ground, sorry. And don't worry, the left don't go all the way down. Just make sure that you keep both shoulder blades on the ground. Move your face opposite direction of your legs. If you can bring your legs together, it's okay, but keep the shoulder blades on the ground. And we just hold it here for four breaths. Four. And three. Two. And just one more. And back to center. And we move our feet other side. So let the left leg completely arise. And go with the right one as far as you can. Both shoulder blades on the ground. Move your face opposite direction. And we hold it here. For a four inhale. And eight. Three, two, and just one more. And back again slowly to the starting pose. And we're just gonna roll in all the way onto the right side to come away from the wall. We're going to crawl a little bit and we're going to rest onto child pose. Super aware and how your spine feel, your organs, yourself. We hold here. We squeeze our organs, our thyroid glands, so you feel different. So feel the sensation. We hold here for four. And three, two, and just one more. Oh, great, everybody. It feels so good. This is specific, this shoulder stand and halasana. It really is squeeze your organs, stimulate your glands, stimulate the endocrine system, nervous system, circulatory system. That's what you feel. Floating like uh, in the clouds. Well done, everybody. Let's take three breaths, strong deep breath. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And one more. Inhale. And exhale. Hands back. Great position. Say namaste. Thank you for joining us in this journey. I hope you are fine. You feel fantastic. We love to share the benefits of yoga. And sometimes we just need small routines that will help us to release our body, release tension, regain mobility. And the most important, stimulate our organs, stimulate the nervous system. So well done. So we are still in contact. Let us know how you feel. And remember that you can find us in Facebook and Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi and well, well done. Anytime you can repeat again the program. It's all for you. Namaste.